me again. Despite great strides in medical science, science has let us down, as even in this day and age you still only live once. In this life, I am sadly not a Formula One driver, lacking the brains in medical science to create another life for myself, or the genetics needed in order to live forever. I have taken it upon myself to instead build my own car, in order to live my dream in this life, before it's too late. Most of my dreams have involved wood lately. Wood, wood, I mean. And this one's no different. It may look simple, but I can assure you it took me ages. After a healthy dose of... Aluminum. And drawing some lines on it to see if it looks cool. It does. The prototype car is ready for testing. But make no mistake, driving a vehicle with this level of sophistication requires expert supervision. So I have enlisted the skills of the person I trust most in the world. Me. To supervise myself to make sure I don't mess up. So if you're ready, let's go. And be careful. Evidence is irrefutable, and despite my best intentions, it turned out to be me who ruined my car slash day slash dream slash life. The only thing I can blame other than myself is my reckless abandon. But I do know that if I'd seen someone enjoying themselves driving as much as I was just then, well, in the same way that you should treat other people the way you'd like to be treated, you should be as kind to yourself as you are to other people. So let yourself have some fun once in a while. I just didn't realise how delicate, sophisticated driving machines and dreams could be. Something to remember for next time. Now the only thing to decide is whether I should repair my broken and shattered dreams or whether I should get a whole new dream instead. Let me know your thoughts. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Goodbye again.